Hello, this is James Harvey Lee, Professor of Music Theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. Let's begin that 5 minutes and talk in this video about tonal music, or what's called tonality. Tonality is a, um, an explanation of a type of music that has what's known as a tonal center. And when we study music theory, I'll put music theory in quotes, if you're, you're saying you're studying music theory, it's generally accepted that you're studying tonal music or music that's written under the guidelines of tonality. And in tonality, there's always what's known as a tonal center. There's a pitch which is sort of the uh, gravitational base, almost like the sun in our solar system. And we can consider the other planets to be the other pitches within the scale that they all gravitate around this tonal center. And tonality is... Um, all about what contributes to a tonal center and what detracts from a tonal center. And one of the things that contributes the most to a tonal center is what's known as the leading tone. We wouldn't have tonal music without this leading tone. And in fact, if we go back in music history, uh, composers of music took a long time to become comfortable with this tone because it's a really strong pitch. And it's called a leading tone because it has the tendency to lead to a specific place. And composers weren't very um, comfortable with the concept of having a pitch that needed to go somewhere. And if you've been watching all these videos, the very first video that I uh, uh, published here on this channel is about me what is music theory. And I played a little tune and didn't play the last note. And you could kind of tell that it wasn't done. That's because I used the leading tone to set you up. So the basic concept behind the leading tone is this. This isn't everything, but it's the basic concept. If I take a major scale... And if you watch the major scale video, just a little before this, we wrote an F major scale. So there's an example of an F major scale. There are seven notes in this major scale. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we get back to F. We could put eight here, but it's not really eight because we've already represented F before. Of those seven notes, in the major scale, the seventh note is the leading tone. So if we look in F major, E is the leading tone, and that E is always going to lead up to F, and that's because of the relationship between E and F and that half-step relationship. They're really close together, and the E sort of creates conflict that is not resolved until we get to that F. Now in major, it's pretty easy because the leading tone already exists. It's always the seventh note of the scale. So let's write that in major, just for those of you who need to see it. In major, the seventh pitch of the scale is the leading tone. So if you're constructing any major scale, find that seventh pitch, or the one right before we start repeating, and that's your leading tone. In minor, it's a little bit more complicated, but the reason I put this video here before we cover the minor scale is because it's a lot easier when we know the concept of the leading tone when we are constructing the different types of minor. So just to quickly summarize, the leading tone is a really important uh, tool in tonality or tonal music because it leads us back to our tonal center. That's really the job of the leading tone is to return us to that tonal center and actually create that tonal center as a home base so that um, everything that we use, uh, composers use and um, exists in tonal music either contributes or detracts from that tonal center. And that's basically the concept. It's that seventh note of the major scale. Now, again, it's going to be a little bit more complicated in minor, so we'll cover that uh, very soon here. But uh, seventh note of that major scale is the leading tone. Really important pitch in uh, tonal music. That's it. Thank you.